Hi, uh, today I'm going to, try, uh, to talk about uh, SQL Server database. How to connect to your SQL database server using your Android application. Uh, let's say first how many ways we have to connect our database, our database from uh, Android application. Uh, first one we have uh, or we can use web service. You, via your service we can connect to our database or uh, a second way from Java, we can use a JD, JTDS uh, from Java. Uh, okay, I'll try to talk about two ways, uh, but today let me try to start with uh, JTDS. This file will give me, let's say, same connection, make connection between me and between uh, Android application and my uh, SQL Server database. You know, it's with Android. It's not easy to make this connection. Not same SQL layer or SQL, my SQL normal database. Uh, first of all, we need to download this file from Java to S. I'll try to put this link in my video too. Just download this jar file, uh, and you should include it in your application. So this is our file after we downloaded it, JTDS uh, uh, from our website. Okay. Uh, what will do? How to include this uh, file to our Android application? First of all, we need to go to project. To after that app should be in the app level. Like. Let's copy that file, control C, paste it on this one. Okay, leave it with this, uh, okay. That's fine then now. Let's back to Android. We can use two, uh, two ways how to, uh, how to uh, include it on our uh, application. We can use Gradle from here, we can just write, compile that name, or we can use it just from here. Uh, from different way how to include it and dependency just jar dependency which one here it will be added automatically if you don't want to write it if you're scared of any errors to compile file that's the way to sync it okay good so uh Second things we needed to add our requirement. Uh, let's add a new class. Let's call it connection helper. Okay. Just normal class, nothing more. And this class. This will be same. Let's say uh, connection string. To our application, uh, public connection string helper plus declare IB will be our IB server or our local computer uh, DP, our database name DB uh, user name. Uh, after that, we need uh, DB password. Uh, we need method called public connection called connection class. Sorry. Oh, just connection. No more connection. Uh, Connections. Okay. Why do we go here? Let's say add sub port new API. 
Okay. Now, uh, I have online database. Already I have uh, on my website. Just I have two tables. Or I need just to use this table. And if I still have connection, okay, good. I have this columns. Uh, country ID, country name, uh, capital city. Uh, but what I need from here, I need uh, I need IB to be my uh, server IB, and I need my DB name, and I need you DB username. Sorry. After that, db password Okay um, Stray Policy, policy, Java dot SQL dot uh, connection URL connection mm, that connection, okay. But here I need to change IP DB. That is here just a connection string, nothing more. JDBC, UFSQL server, they give IP and server uh, database. So here should be DB username and string and password. Okay. Same dot net uh, connection string, nothing different. Uh, let's try our catch. First catch, we need my SQL Server exceptions. SE. Let's present on our log. Dot A. 
error from SQL it's se dot uh, get my message should be good message to need to include it again we need one more catch uh, class not found exception e same e dot get message get okay, with log dot e our connection let's say this is our uh, connection string how we make our connection string what we did after we include our uh, jar file uh, this one's uh, db uh, this as i said depend on your on your server this is from your let's say from your uh, local or what site from your record database or from your website i will show you how i use it from my website that's okay no problem uh, let's see time if take too much with it or time okay 13 let's stop it here and start with a new video <laughs>